welcome back to my channel this is part three of the fairy journal going to some technical difficulties uh, me being such a techno idiot uh, I've had to split it up into three parts uh, the last time battery had gone flat so here's the last bit we're in the third signature now um, we're over halfway of the we're nearly at the end of the book and in front of us here, you can see a lovely vellum piece of paper and attached to it is a Josephine Wall image. I'll just zoom it in a little bit. Um, let me see if you can see it a bit better. That one's actually attached to the page um, and there aren't any pockets. Oh, rather. oh, wait a minute. No, no, there isn't. So, that's just decorative page. And opposite there, we have the final page of the journal, almost. Um, turn it over, and here we have the end. This side has a pocket, and inside this pocket we've got some images, we have Victorian fairy card which is mounted on a card and it's plain inside and we have a Josephine wall, this is one of my favourite images, I just love it it's a bit like a bit of Phantom of the opera but you just look at the colours I've mounted it on black card um, so it's about six inches, maybe more, eight inches tall by about six inches wide. So make a nice framed picture. So that goes in the pocket along with that one. And it's all on some beautiful card stock that I had in my stash, which was given to me by my friend Sarah. And this one is the peacock image that we saw earlier enlarged by Josephine Wall and I've mounted it on some card behind an acetate um, clear acetate sort of layer to protect it and I fastened the acetate on using these decorative brads um, the card underneath has been sprayed with ink and edged with lace. Now this page, like the one at the front, swings out to reveal another compartment. As you can see it's edged with lace. That's glittery card, more lace. There's some more nice heavyweight card and uh, finish with a ribbon so you could put some secret message behind there if you like you could close that one first and then that goes over the top so it's a hidden sort of a hidden page and that's the end of the journal really and this is the part that swings closed it's got the dangles on the back and the whole thing Closes like this. You can see that part swings down, and then the cords go around like so, and I tie them up in a bow at the side, something like this. So, um, I'll remove these fairy lights if they were just for effect. I'll have another go at fastening it. That doesn't do that very well. It's quite uh, thick and chunky, so it's quite. Uh, you need to pull it hard to fasten it. Now you don't have to keep all those cards inside the journal, you can take them out and just use them as and when. 
Oh, that fastens. We've got a protective metal piece just there uh, to stop that cord from rubbing. And there you go. There's the journal. There's the journal. Now, there is also um, another little packet that comes with the journal. Uh, shall I open it and show you what's inside? We start off with a handmade tag which says dream a little dream and um, on the back we have a little pocket with the word treasure some little wooden charms inside there, a little bird and I think this is a leaf there, a little leaf um, I've attached a metal grommet whatever you call them and it's tied on with some sar cream sari ribbon there you go so that that's the tag then we're left with more ribbon tying around the box shall I open it and do it let you have a look um, I've put a handmade envelope on the top there, show you that. And we had one very similar inside the journal. This is an old music score from an old book going back to the 1920s, even before I think. Uh, so it opens like this and it opens again, so you've got a pocket at the bottom and in the pocket at the bottom we've got some more journaling cards there's a little bundle tied together there's one, two, three, four, five, about six six more cards there for you to use which goes into that pocket at the bottom are there any more pockets? No, that's it. I thought we just got a fancy flap and a little bit of uh, collaging on the front there. And then on the back we have some old book paper and spray inks. Um, and it's stitched with the sewing machine around the edge. So that comes with it, with the extra journaling cards, you get all this lovely ribbon and here we have an altered box, an altered chocolate box actually I think it was and I've stenciled it with an ivy stencil and sprayed it with metallic inks back and front. Shall we see what's inside? Let's have a look. Oh, now then. Looks like we've got another envelope inside. Shall we see what's inside it? We will start on the front. There's a, a stamped fairy on some cotton linen fabric, some vintage lace and a bit of sari silk. There and it's all made again with the music score paper from the old music book. On the back we have a happy heart makes its own song. Um, a bit of paper collaging and there's a little piece there with lines on for any message or journaling you want to write there. And this opens up. We've got more journaling space. Feels a bit bulky inside this one. There's something inside it. And this one's got two pockets. And the one at the top, which is empty at the moment. And then we've got this one here at the bottom, which has got a little package inside it. Some secret treasure. So I'm not going to tell you. 
I'm not going to let you see it. That could be a surprise. But you might find a clue if you look at all the photographs um, that I've put on Facebook and various places like that. Um, maybe even Etsy. I think eventually this might be listed on Etsy. It's not gone anywhere yet at the moment. So it's available if anybody would like it. You'd have to private message me at the moment for any details until I get it up on Etsy, which should probably be in the next couple of days. So that's about it really. Um, thank you for watching. I'll pop that back in its little box. And the envelope on top. I'll tie it up. And hopefully I'll get this video uploaded with part two as well and then you'll be able to see the whole thing and get some idea of what it's like. I absolutely loved every minute of making this journal um, as I do with every journal. Not that I've made that many but I just love doing it really. I love messing, <laughs> messing about. So, as back as it were, and it'll come, if you order it, it'll come in a big box, which is an upcycled, well it's not even upcycled yet, um, a shoe box, <laughs> tied with some ribbon. So, that's it. Thank you very much for watching, and please leave me a like or a comment or share it with your friends I'd be most grateful so thank you so much everyone and hope to see you soon bye